The Ballistic Sports LT Memory Kits are available in three different colors, red, white and garmental grey. In this video, we have a 16GB kit of memory that features the garmental grey color scheme. In addition, this cooler also runs at a steady 3000 MHz out of the box, so it is ideal for Ryzen and Threadripper platforms that will greatly benefit from higher memory frequencies by default. From the factory, this kit uses the timings 16, 18, 18 and 38, with a voltage of 1.35 volts. A decent set of timings for 3000 MHz right from the start. Sure, lower timings could have been used, however, that will increase the overall price of the kit because you need chips that will actually be stable at 3000 MHz with lower timings. Going back to the design of this kit, the heat sinks are made from a metal and feature a linear brush texture that will not easily stain. That's great! The middle of the ramp sticks is covered by a long urban camouflage sticker. Here we can also see the glorious ballistic logo. There are also chrome inserts present on both lower edges and side edges of the heatsink. The top of the heatsink features angular vent gaps that allow for some air to reach the top side of the memory chips, but their main purpose is the overall style of the heatsink. However, the important feature of the Sport LT's heatsink is the height, or lack of, to be specific. These heatsinks barely rise above the height of the PCB. This means that the Sport LT kits will be compatible with most if not all CPU coolers available on the market right now having no interference with the fans thanks to the low height of the heatsinks. Now we can move on with the performance and first let's see the overclocking potential of these Micron chips. Without changing the timings or the voltage, this kit was able to overclock to over 3200MHz. Of course, 200MHz is not a lot in the grand scheme of things, however, this kit was completely stable throughout the whole testing process. And all this was achieved by only changing the frequency and nothing else. For a 200MHz overclock, some kits will require looser timings and a higher voltage to even boot. 200 MHz or not, let's see the actual performance gained by overclocking this kit of memory. Starting with the shadow of the Tomb Raider and using the in-game benchmark, we can see that the overall gain of 8 frames per second is achieved. Of course, there are multiple factors that count when we speak about game's performance, but nevertheless, there is an increase in performance while overclocking. In terms of synthetic benchmarks, the AIDA64 memory tests provide a better look at the overall increase in performance. The approximate increase is 9% for both read, write and copy sections of this benchmark. But keep in mind that these results will vary across the board thanks to the differences in the quality of the chips and the rest of the components you use. The potential for overclocking is quite good. I was able to lower the timings while maintaining the factory 3000 MHz frequency with ease. This resulted in more performance gained, especially in synthetic benchmarks. However, as always, each platform and each kit of memory will perform slightly different due to the quality of the internal components. Priced at under 100 US dollars or euros, this kit is ideal for a budget-oriented Ryzen platform thanks to its competitive price and performance out of the box. The design and multiple color variations add more value to the overall package as these kits are easier to match to the color scheme of the rest of the components in a system. And what Ballistics did with the Sport LT series was to also offer a completely white kit of memory at an affordable price. I am mentioning this as the white PCB and all white components were usually found on limited edition and high products from various manufacturers, usually found at a high price. The Ballistics Sport LT is a very good memory kit that is available in a wide range of colors, capacities and frequencies. All this paired with a good overclocking potential and tweaking of the timings to increase the performance even more. These features are integrated in what is essentially an entry-level RAM kit that is devoided of any RGB integration or design elements that are meant to increase the price. 